My dear learners over there, I welcome you to Revision UG at com. Uh, this is our new chapter, Light Energy. So as usual, it's your teacher, Teacher Hakim. Let us get started and see what is in this chapter. Okay, my dear learners, we are going to start by understanding what does the term light mean. So we are going to understand what does light mean. So remember, light is a form of energy, whereby in the previous sessions, uh, we discussed energy and we said that energy is the ability to do work. And we looked at various forms of energies, as in we looked at magnetism, uh, we looked at uh, chemical energy in the food we eat, we looked at light energy, sound energy, and very many others. So in this lesson, we are now going to look at light energy into uh, details. Right, let us now start by defining what light energy is. So we are defining light energy as a form of energy, uh, is a form of energy that in the form of energy uh, that stimulates the sense of seeing yes uh, that stimulates uh, the sense of seeing the sense of seeing remember the sense of seeing is conducted by the sense organs called the eyes so we are able to see things around because there is light and we are able to see things around us because uh, they reflect light into our Eyes. So, my dear Lana, we are defining light as a form of energy uh, that stimulates the sense of um, uh, seeing right. Now, uh, let us look at the sources of a uh, light. So, what is a light source? So, a light source, it is um, a material. Uh, it is a material or an object. Mm. Light source can be a material or an object uh, that produces or emits light. That produces or emits light. So a light source is a material or an object that produces or emits light. Then these sources of light are classified into two. One, we have the natural sources and two we have what we call the artificial sources natural and artificial sources of a light and then at this time we are going to start with natural sources of light natural uh, sources of light then let us understand what are they so natural sources of light produce their light naturally and by their own and by their own so uh, these are sources of light uh, these are sources or light sources uh, that produce so to produce we can use the word emit also that produce their own light own light naturally so they produce light naturally and by their own so let us now see some examples here we have the stars mm -hmm. Uh, here we are having living organisms and this living organism is what we call the firefly Then these ones you are seeing this person is holding are what we call the glow worms Then this one is the uh, erupting volcano and this one is the erupting volcano erupting a uh, volcano There are four examples of natural sources of light one we have the Sun examples there is the sun then we have the stars then we have erupting volcanoes erupting volcanoes then there is lightning we have lightning the living organisms we have the fire flies as you've seen them and also the glow are worms so these are the examples of natural sources of what of light all right now let us move on and see the artificial sources of light then artificial sources of light and uh, these are man-made so the artificial some members fail to write the word artificial so artificial sources of light are money made so they are made by people examples we have the electric bulbs mm -hmm. we have the electric bulb not the bulb but electric bulb then we have the candles as you are seeing it over here so this is a candle uh, so this is the candle burning as it's producing heat and light energy then we have the gas lamp mm, the gas lamp so what you are seeing here it's the gas lamp this one 
is the gassy lamp then from there we have also what we call the kerosene lamp mm, the kerosene a kerosene lamp tadoba so what you are seeing over here uh, it is what you call the kerosene lamp also can produce it or emit light then we have also open fires mm, at home you can you can burn rubbish you can burn the bushes so those are the open fires or oh, when the when the mother is cooking using firewood then that is an open fire then also uh, we have the hurricane lamp mm, there is the hurricane lamp which is also called a latin so this one is the hurricane let me write it here this is the hurricane a lamp though it is also using kerosene and also i will have the torches my Delana. then the examples of the artificial sources remember we said artificial sources are man-made example this is the hurricane lamp we have torches we have electric bulbs candles gas lamp kerosene lamp open fires this is a candle burning this is the gas lamp this is the kerosene lamp this is the, the hurricane lamp so those are the examples of the artificial sources remember we said a source of light is the material or an object that can emit or produce its own light then uh, let us take a note here we are taking a note the moon uh, the moon is not a source of light yes the moon is not a source of light we normally see the moon at night but what does this moon uh, do uh, it just receives light we have the sun then the sun can produce light then light falls onto this moon and the moon is silvery or it is polished so what it does it sends the light from the sun to the earth so this is what we call a reflection therefore the moon is not a source of light neither a natural source of light nor artificial source of light simply because it reflects the sun's light onto the earth so they will ask you why is the moon not regarded as a source of light simply because it reflects light it reflects the sun's light onto the earth so it reflects the sun's light onto the earth so the moon i'm repeating the moon is not a source of a light then as we have looked at the sources of light we have said that we classify them into artificial and natural we have said we have natural sources and the artificial sources then these ones they have gotten other names all natural sources of light are direct sources of light and all artificial sources of light are indirect sources of a light then at uh, these direct sources of light uh, we are also calling them luminance we are calling them luminance objects or luminance sources of light now let us understand what are these objects these are the objects that emit and uh, these are objects that emit uh, objects uh, that emit they are own light yes uh, that emit their own light all natural sources and artificial sources of light are direct sources of light all artificial sorry here i've made a mistake all the natural sources and artificial sources of light are luminous objects meaning that they can emit their own light when look at this one can produce its light this one can produce its light even this one even this even the sun even the stars they don't get light from any other source but for them they can give that source of energy which is lighty energy so we call them luminous objects so once an exam a question comes and they ask you to give the luminous object uh, source of light then you can give either the example of an artificial like the the, the helicon lamp crossing lamp the candle or you can give an example of the natural like the sun the stars lightning and so on then the opposite of non luminous is nani luminous the word is nani luminous so we have non luminous what uh, objects or sources of light so non-luminous objects uh, these are the objects that cannot emit uh, so these ones they cannot they cannot emit their own light they cannot produce their own light instead they get their light from any other source then they send it and we also call them the indirect 
direct sources of light we call them indirect sources of light examples the moon is the first one when you look at the plane mirror mm, the plane mirrors which you use as shaving mirrors in the salons in the dressing rooms those ones in the bathrooms they don't produce their own light they just get light from the, the, the source then they produce it so they are non luminous and also we have some uh, planets yes we have some planets so the moon the plane mirrors the planets are non luminous objects or sources of light then we have this other word which is read as incandescent the word is incandescent so we have what we call the incandescent objects let us understand what are they so incandescent objects these are the objects that produce both heat and light when hot so they produce these are the objects that produce both heat and light when hot they produce both heat and light when they are hot for example the sun it is hot when you look at the electric bulbs mm, the filament the coil filament must get hot and then it gives out light and heat when you look at charcoal mm, when it is cold it cannot produce heat and light it only becomes hot then it starts producing the two forms of energies then we have the firewood and very many others so uh, my dear learner we have looked at light energy and we've said that light is a form of energy and uh, that stimulates the sense of a uh, seeing and we've said that uh, this light uh, we have light sources and we divide them into two the natural and the artificial and we say that the artificial sources of light are uh, they are man-made and examples we've given them as the hurricane lamp the kerosene lamp and uh, then uh, the gas lamp and then we have the candles the torches and the electric bulbs with the natural sources we've given uh, the sun the stars lightning erupting volcanoes uh, we have living organisms that can produce light that is the fireflies and the glowworms as you've seen then eventually we've given a note and we say that the moon is not a natural source of light simply because uh, this moon reflects light from the sun onto the earth so it just sends light it bounces the sun is light onto the earth that is to uh, reflect that's why the moon is not regarded as a source of a uh, light then we have looked at objects and we have classified them into three luminous objects non-luminous objects and incandescent objects whereby we will say that luminous objects for them they emit their own light and we call them the direct sources of light with the non-luminous we have given examples like the moon the plane mirrors and the planets what are they for them they cannot emit their own light instead get light from a source and they send it or they reflect it then incandescent objects we've said and uh, these ones produce both heat and light when they are hot for example the sun <laughs> electric bulbs charcoal and the firewood this is revision uganda you revision ug at com your teacher is still teacher hakim it is time for the activity all right activity and our activity our number one says write mention two sources of light mention that two mention the two types of sources of sources of light number two what is a source of light what is a source of light the number three give the difference between uh, give the difference between uh, between artificial source between artificial a uh, source sources of light and natural sources of light number four name any two sources any two sources of light found in the sky found in the sky number five name any two living things any two 
living things that produce that produce their own light number six give any two artificial sources of light artificial sources of light number number seven give a reason why give a reason why the moon why the moon is a non-luminous object a non-luminous object name the main source of light in the environment name the main source source of light in the environment all right you've been a good learner we we'll meet in the next lesson lesson two light energy i thank you for keeping up with revisionug.com